Hi everybody, good morning. A lot of golden sunshine in Madison today. We've got this new book. I ordered this from the seminary co-op and it came in a box and I wasn't here, but uh, one of my roommates opened it and it's John Keats's Major Works. And this thing is huge. It's got this giant 100 page poem, Endymion, which I have never read before. Um, and uh, now I've read the little preface that he put in that says that it's the product of the in-between period between when you um, when you're immature and when you're mature um, and you're confused and I just can't wait to read this thing it's in several books uh, the table of contents on this thing is huge shout out to Elizabeth Cook the editor the table of contents is enormous and it looks great um, it was pointed out to me that these poems are written on all kinds of occasions. On sitting down to read King Lear once again. Uh, you know. Sonnet to Elsa Rock. There's all kinds of books here. Oh yeah, there's uh, all kinds of occasions. A dream after reading Dante's episode of Paolo and Francesca. I mean, they're just really cool. Sonnet to Sleep. I know I'm going to love a lot of these poems, and I already have. Um, and also, there's a million letters in here, and T.S. Eliot isn't the only person who thinks Keats's letters are really worth reading. We've got his marginalia to his Shakespeare folio that he gave to that girl that he liked before he died of TB. We got his marginalia to Paradise Lost. I mean, this thing is just like an unthinkable treasure trove, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. Yesterday I was just sort of like holding it in my arms and reading a bit, but bits from it, like, you know, as many as I could. And it's really nice because I've got all these Oxford World's classics and this is the first one I've read recently that has this nice like flexible feel, you know, kind of the what I associate with like an American paperback as opposed to those like, I feel like a lot of paperbacks I get that are imports, um, like those Picador editions of the Cormac McCarthy books that are um, like from England or whatever, uh, are all kind of like stiff and it might be that like in the boat on the way over they like, they glue dries or something. But anyway, I just wanted to say that I got this and um, so I'm, I'm gonna be reading poems from Keats. Um, it was really nice that I got this right after I started reading the Helen Vendler essay on Wallace Stevens where she talks about how Wallace Stevens uses auroras of autumn to make or sorry, he uses uh, Keats's to Autumn to make his Aurora's to Autumn or whatever. And that was really helping me like Wallace Stevens more because viewers of this channel will know that I'm not the hugest fan of Wallace Stevens. Well, that's changing and it's all thanks to Helen Vendler. You heard it here first. Um, anyway, this is a beautiful thing. Thank you, Seminary Co-op. And thank you, uh, you know, Oxford World's Classics. And thank you, BookTube, for watching. Um, all right, bye-bye.